guys welcome back to my channel for another video so this is the new video for the week and um i just wanted to talk to you guys today about a problem that is near dear to my heart and you just might call it a tall girl problem for this week's video i decided that i wanted to go through maybe like a list of 10 things that all tall girls have to deal with now trust me i'm sure shorter people have to deal with these problems there are people taller than me and I'm sure that they have more problems. But these are just the ones that I, you know, popped out of my head and decided to share with you all. If you guys have these same problems, I mean, let me know. Other than that, let's get started. So, number one problem that I have to deal with as a tall person is people asking me how tall I am. Oh, if they just see me, they're like, oh my gosh, how tall are you? How tall are you? Oh my gosh, how tall are you? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm 5'10". That's not, okay, it's it's pretty tall, but it's not that tall. There's definitely people taller. Like, I knew a girl before she was like six foot, and it was nice because I'd stand next to her, and I'm like, you make me feel tiny. Thank you. Thank you for your mother bringing you into the world because you just made me feel good about myself. But yeah, I get this problem a lot at work because where I work, I am the tallest person there besides the one guy who works there who's taller than me. But that's it. Just me. I'm the tallest. But yeah, they always ask just how tall I am. I never go up to a, like, a shorter person and go, hey, how tall are you? You know? Because, like, you just, you look really tiny, so I just, I just need to know exactly how tall you are. I don't ask other tall people how tall they are. I just like, okay, cool, we are all coexisting in the world here. Me and my sister have always dealt with this. I'm 5'10", she's 5'8". I understand that that's, like, a little bit shorter on the tall scale, but it's still a problem. Alright, problem number two is everybody always asks, do you play basketball? Oh my gosh, you're so tall. Do you play basketball? What about volleyball? Or any other tall sport that you have to be tall for? Do you run track because your legs are so long? Like, I'm sorry, Do you? are you a gymnast because you're so tiny? Okay, I understand that tall people can't really be gymnasts, so are you a gymnast? No, you're not. Because, just because I'm tall, doesn't mean I play sports. I am very athletically inclined. I have never played sports. I think I played like two games of powder puff in high school, and that was two times because over the course of two years. Juniors versus seniors and seniors versus juniors. Like, no, I don't play sports. I'm not a sporty person. I'm more of your artistic person. But sports are not my thing, okay? If you would see me try to throw a paper ball into a trash can, you would understand why I don't play sports. All right, problem number three. Problem number three is probably my biggest problem, and that's shopping. How hard is it, people, to make pants that are long enough for human beings? Well, my legs on my human being speaking. How hard is it? All you ever sell are regulars. You you sell regulars or shorts and pants. I don't really go by inseams because where I shop, like, there aren't any, but I think I run like a 34 inseam. But just sell those. Nobody ever has longs. If they do have longs, they're either in like the teeny tiniest size that they're, they come in or the absolute largest size that they come in. And I'm neither of those. I need the middle. Like I'm, I'm not this end or this end. I just need the middle one. That's a struggle is jean shopping. Another struggle with shopping is finding a dress or a skirt that isn't a shirt. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that my body's long. I'm sorry that my legs are long, but please make dresses a little bit longer. Okay, I don't want to shop in the adult lady section. I want to shop in the cute, like, you know, young adult section where everything's like real cute and not everything's down to my knees, even though it's not down to my knees, it's down to my thighs. Really, I'm not that big, but that's how I feel. Every dress, like back whenever I was in middle school, I think I was around like the 5'8 height. And that's whenever Hollister and Abercrombie and all those other stores were real popular. And I'd go in and I'd try on a dress and oh dang, my whole booty was like hanging out. I couldn't wear that to school. It wasn't even fingertip length. What? I, that's just, it, it boggles my mind. Can you make tall people dresses please? And another thing with shopping is I don't get to wear rompers. My torso is too long to wear rompers that I get like constant wedgie in the back and constant like camel toe up in the front, okay? It's very uncomfortable to walk around that way. Problem number four is that, well, as a tall person, I, I quite enjoy to wear heels, but guess what? If I do wear heels and I'm going out with my friends that are like 5'5", five five, I'm just the giant. I'm the giant person. I'm the giant giraffe walking around. It's pretty bad. On my college graduation day, because again, I like to wear heels and I'm going to wear them anyway, I was the tallest one in like my uh, program that I graduated through. At the end of all of this, my sister and I, whenever we walked out in the crowds because she wore heels that day too, we could just see over everybody. And we do like this meerkat thing where you just like look over everybody and you see them and you can find them real easily. And you're just like, hey guys, I'm sorry, little, 
little everybody else in the world if you're you know an average size and you can wear heels okay cherish it stop wearing flats wear the heels because guess what it's a privilege and enjoy it because i i get to enjoy it but not to the fullest extent problem number five would be the fact that i don't fit in normal desks or like airplane seats i understand that airplane seats are cramped for everybody but i like exceptionally don't fit in them Okay, my knees are up to my eyeballs. Or if I'm in like the back seat of a car and you know how like, I don't know. But in my car personally, I do the uh, long leg privilege where <laughs> if you're a tall person, you're gonna get shotgun over the back seat. I'm sorry, it's the way it works. It's just more comfortable for everybody that way. I don't, I just don't fit. I need more leg room, okay? Do you know how many times in like school I would get across my leg in a desk and I had to like bring my knee up to like my eyeballs just to cross them and then I'd still have to sit sideways otherwise I'd be like stuck in my desk forever. Another girl that I knew, she was just a more bit on the shorter side so her like her feet didn't touch the floor whenever she sat in a desk. She would just swing her feet all class and I'm like dang I wish I could swing my feet all class but I mean I guess the grass is greener right? All right so problem number six. There's a problem in this world today and that is boys you need to grow. Please grow. Okay the boy market is very difficult for a girl who is 5'10 or higher. It's a rough world out there. Now, I understand I'm not trying to make anybody feel bad about themselves or, you know, I'm not trying to sound like some like really low self-esteem human being who's like, oh, I can't date short boys. But is it too much to ask that I just want someone to be taller than me? Is it that hard? Does anybody else have the problem where, oh, you discover like a celebrity and you're like, oh, dang, like this is cute and I'd like my fantasies to work out one day. So immediately Google their height and they're always too short. They're always like 5'11". Like, I'm 5'10". You're 5'11". I don't get to wear heels now in our little imagine, like imaginary dreamland here. But I don't know. That's just, maybe that's just a problem for me. Maybe it's a problem for other people. I don't know, but it's something that I do. Problem number seven. This one might not be that much of a problem. I haven't encountered it everywhere, but I have encountered it at some places. And that's whenever you go into the bathroom and you go in, do your business and everything, come out and you're washing your hands and the mirror comes up to like here on your face. And you're like, wow, I'm really glad that in order for me to actually see what I look like, I have to crouch down like a little turtle to be able to see into the mirror. Just get a longer mirror, people. Or put your mirror up higher. I don't know. Like, just can you work this out? Because I'm really tired of like working on my squat game while I'm trying to like fix my bangs in a public restroom. Like, it's kind of hard. Maybe that's not really a problem, but I feel like it is a problem. All right, problem number eight. I just had to count on my fingers. That's pretty sad. So, you know, all those friends that you have are like really shorter than you and then they go, all right guys, come in for a group picture. And then if somebody else is taking the picture, you're just the really, really tall one. But if it's a selfie, you know, and you're like, go, go gadget arm to get the like great selfie thing. First of all, I'm always the one asked to uh, do the selfie arm picture because my larynx arm arms are just naturally longer than everybody else's. But then I gotta like crouch way down. So that way we're all roughly around the same height. So it's not like my head up here and then their heads down here. With my friends, I don't know if this is with everybody, but they gotta take like a hundred pictures. It gets tiring after a while, guys. I'm gonna have back problems. I'm gonna have back problems or my thighs are just gonna be burning from the internal, the eternal squat that I've been holding. That's a problem. I don't really think there's a solution. Get stools maybe. Can everybody just like bring a little pop-up stool so that way I'm not the only one who has to, you know, struggle for pictures? I'll do it sometimes, but you got, bring the stools next time. Okay, find like a curb or something, like a step. All right, moving on to problem number nine. I get this one a lot too. And that's whenever shorter, like people who are shorter than me go, oh my gosh, you're so lucky to be tall. Why am I so lucky to be tall? What's the luckiness here? That I'm taller than everybody else? That finding a significant other is seemingly more difficult than the rest of the world? The fact that I don't get to wear heels? The fact that problems number one through eight happen all of the time? And whenever I ask, oh, like, what is, what is my, the big thing that I can, like, gain from being tall? And they go, well, you can reach stuff. I can reach stuff. Wow, thanks, I didn't know that. I can reach things. Oh, I don't have to crawl on the counter. You know what? Sometimes I do. Sometimes it's still too tall. Like, aha. Uh -huh. 
I understand whenever, like, you go to the supermarket. And I am the nice person who always helps, like, the little short old ladies who are like, I can't get the thing up on the top shelf. Worst thing is, is whenever you do get the convenience stores that, you know, supposedly my only use as a tall person is to, that I can reach things, is they add an extra shelf. So then I still have to climb up all of the shelves like a freaking spider monkey just to get the top box of cereal. And they're like, yeah, but I have to crawl on the counter on like a daily basis. Get a step stool, hun. And finally, we get to number 10. So number 10 has to pertain to everybody else in the world. That's whenever you see like, oh dang, this like guy who's like 6'5". Oh, perfect height for me. Perfect. That would make me feel so happy. And then they're dating somebody who's like four foot tall. Really? Really? Okay, I understand that like, you know, you have the choice to love anybody you want, but do you have to take the tall guys up? But you have a whole world out there. Do you have to take all the six foot and aboves? Okay, can't you just leave something for the really, really tall people? You have like, you have all the other heights. Take them all, take all of the other heights, okay? But I want the six foots and above, okay? I feel like that should just be the thing, a the words escaping me, but you know what I'm talking about. Well, anyway, guys, so that concludes my 10 tall girl problem. Hope you guys liked it. Uh, if you guys have any tall girl problems yourself, uh, you know, other than the ones that I feel like I have, like, all of the time. I mean, you can leave them down in the comments if you want, but, and I mean, if you're a shorter person and you have short girl problems, go ahead and leave comments down there too. I mean, I'd like to know what your problems are in the world besides having to crawl up on the counter. I mean, there are some perks to being tall, I guess. I don't know, maybe, maybe they kind of even out, maybe the good ways out the bad, but either way, embrace your height, embrace who you are. I mean, I spent my entire middle school years not wanting to wear any kind of shoe that had like a heel or any kind of like slight increase like even like a pair of like athletic shoes if they were like too beefy on the bottom like that's pretty terrible okay event like just get over it you're tall there's nothing you can do about it. there's nothing that you can change it so might as well just wear the shoes that you want wear the clothes that you want etc just embrace being tall anyway Again, hope you guys liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And again, if you did like the videos and you'd like to see other videos that I put out, other videos like this, etc., go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And I try to get new videos out weekly, dependingly. It's going well so far, but we'll see how the future goes with that. Um, but either way, I'm going to stop playing with this ring on my finger because it's getting real annoying. This is why I don't wear jewelry, people. Because then I just sit here and I twist and I twist and I twist and I pull it off and on, etc. But I've rambled on for long enough now, so I'm just gonna go!